Let me tell you what Woj was about to say, and that is that a possible trade for Kevin Durant, and let us caution, he's, he is not suggesting this is on the verge of happening anytime in the next 10 minutes, but that amongst the contenders for the Boston, for the Kevin Durant right now are the Boston Celtics, and that one of the reasons that they emerge as a team of interest is because they could put Jalen Brown in a trade. I read his entire story. It suggests that the Celtics have taken Jason Tatum and suggested he is off limits, but that, Jason, that Jalen Brown might be a possibility. I'm told that it is a possibility. We'll have Woj back. Let's try it again. Woj, pick it up from there. Uh, th that's right, Greeny. And uh, listen, Boston is among, you know, several teams that have been in regular contact with Brooklyn, I'm told. And, you know, obviously, you know, if you are the Boston Celtics, you know, there's a couple factors here that make the Kevin Durant uh, talks interesting. Number one, you know, Boston potentially has the pieces to be competitive with anybody in the league uh, in a Kevin Durant trade. And obviously, they're a team that believes they're close that Kevin Durant could put them over the top. Obviously, they swept the Nets in their first-round playoff series last season and, of course, lost to the Golden State Warriors in the finals. Uh, but again, you know, Jalen Brown potentially, uh, when you look at individual players that might be available to the Nets in the marketplace, he's at the very top, 25 years old, although there's only two years left on his contract. Of course, there's four years left on Durant's deal. And again, you know, uh, Boston's no closer right now than, than anybody else uh, for, for a potential uh, deal with the Nets, but certainly they're engaged, they're interested, and it's a conversation that's been ongoing as we head now into the fourth week, uh, or as we're approaching the fourth week since Kevin Durant requested a trade from Brooklyn on June 30th. Exactly. And, and actually, of all the sentences in your story and the teams that we know have been engaged, Phoenix, Miami, Toronto, now Boston, and we'll see what else happens from here. Of all the sentences that I read in your story, Woj, the one that was most interesting to me, because I've been asking you this question for weeks now, is that Durant has not in any way backed off of or obviously changed his stance on wanting to be traded out of Brooklyn. And that in and of itself, I think, felt like news. Yeah, listen, of course, Brooklyn, they don't want to trade Kevin Durant. This is uh, perhaps the best player in the league, 33 years old. He'll be 34 when the season starts, but clearly still at the apex of his talent. And in a perfect world, the Nets would bring back Kevin Durant, pair him, of course, with Kyrie Irving, and then see how it all looks with Ben Simmons once he's healthy and playing again for the Nets. But again, you know, Brooklyn is continuing to try to find a deal for Durant, but with four years left on his deal, they don't have to rush in uh, to any trade, and they want to get back what they want back, which is essentially a massive slash historic haul uh, for Kevin Durant. Listen, we'll see as they get potentially closer to training camp and what that would look like to have to bring this group back together, specifically Kevin Durant. Uh, but right now, Boston, or excuse me, Brooklyn, listen, they want to do a deal on their terms. But there's no question that Boston is a team intrigued with the possibility uh, of trying to land Kevin Durant. I think intrigued is a perfect word. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.